everyone so welcome to another video from basio btech so this time let's see superposition theorem just like norton's theorem thevenin's theorem kvl kcl etc superposition theorem is also another important topic in this dc network analysis so let's get into the video the same circuit was dealt in second last video there at that time we dealt the same problem that is find the current through the 3 ohm resistor we dealt the same problem using kvl kirchhoff's voltage law but this time i'm going to do it with superposition theorem why i chose this theorem because here as you can see in the circuit you can see two sources one current source and a voltage source so we come to this theorem that is superposition theorem only when we are having more than one source whether it is voltage source or current source for a circuitry which is having multiple sources that circuit is equal to the summation of simplified circuit using each sources that is a multiple source circuit is equal to sum of simplified circuits simplified circuits that uses that uh, uses individual sources okay a multiple source circuit is equal to summation of simplified circuit that uses individual source that is the same circuit can be drawn like first at at a time we make use of only one source okay so uh, let us uh, let me draw the circuit using uh, the current source alone first and i am going to short circuit the other source see now i am focusing on only on this current source and the voltage source has been shorted okay and next time i focus only on this 20 volt source just avoiding this 5 ampere current source okay just omit it so for a in, in order to omit a current source we have to open circuit it okay if you need to eliminate a voltage source just short it if you need to eliminate a current source just open it okay make an open circuit at that point okay see so this multiple source circuit has been simplified has been made has been split to two circuits dealing with only one source at a time okay so a multiple source circuit is equal to summation of the simplified circuits that make use of only one source at a time okay now as per this question find the current through the three ohm resistor isn't it the three ohm resistor is at this point this is the uh, uh, 3 ohm resistor so we have to find the current through this 3 ohm resistor also this 3 ohm resistor and once we add both of the current we get the exact answer or we get the final answer okay that is the superposition theorem all about thus a multiple source circuit has been splitted up into number of circuits as many number of voltage sources or current sources are there okay and we will deal each circuit uh, separately and we will find the question that is asked okay so let's start doing this first let us focus on this circuit which contains only current source in it so remember uh, the other point to be noted is to eliminate to eliminate a voltage source short it okay and to eliminate to eliminate a current source just open it okay that's it so we have just considered this current source alone and has shorted this 20 volt terminals okay so what is the next point is since we have shorted a resistor in parallel isn't it so just look at this if a current is coming on this way it has two 
paths to get deviated isn't it it can either flow through this 4 ohm resistor this is 4 ohm resistor right this is 10 ohm this is 5 ohm and 2 ohm resistor so when a current reaches at this point it can split into two branches see logically which path does this current choose obviously it chooses a path which is non-resistive isn't it so obviously all the current will flow through this non-resistive path so there is no point in placing this 4 ohm resistor anymore isn't it so i can even simplify the same circuit as 5 ampere and 5 plus 10 i can write it as 15 being series there is a 2 ohm resistor here and 3 ohm alone here because there is no point in keeping this 4 ohm resistor isn't it again you can uh, notice a current source and resistor being connected in parallel so as per source transformation as we have discussed in many videos previously it this can be converted to a voltage source in series with a resistor isn't it since the arrow head is upwards we, we must have a positive polarity upside and a series a series resistor two three okay and this is 15 ohm itself and what about the voltage value here it is simply 5 into 15 that is 75 volt okay now it is very easy to calculate the current that is passing through 3 ohm resistor what is that current through the entire circuit is 75 voltage divided by the total resistance which is 15 plus 2 plus 3 and that comes about 3.75 ampere which is flowing from upside to downside okay always try to uh, mark the direction of this particular current because uh, in the last point while we add all those answers we need the direction also so always mark the direction to 3.75 ampere flowing down ways through this 3 ohm resistor okay now let's take the other circuit which has only 20 volt in it so 3.75 ampere was the uh, current for the first circuit and next case i am going to take this 20 volt alone short circuiting i mean open circuiting this 5 ampere current source okay here it is 15 and this is 2 ohm and this is 3 here comes the 4 ohm this time i take only the 20 volt uh, source isn't it now uh, see there is no point in keeping this terminal so better i remove this terminal to make the circuit much familiar for you the pattern and now let's see what is the net current that is coming out from this 20 volt isn't it so definitely it is 20 volt divided by net resistance and what is the net resistance here you can see see while you are taking the net resistance always try to reduce it from the far end that is here here uh, the voltage source in the right side so try to reduce the circuit from the left side okay so here 15 2 and 3 are connected in series so 15 plus 2 17 17 plus 3 20 ohm so 20 ohm and 4 ohm and they have 20 volt kept in parallel so the net resistance here is 20 and 4 send it 20 and 4 connected in parallel so 20 into 4 by 20 plus 4 that is 80 divided by 24 which is about 3.33 okay so the net current is 20 divided by 3.33 that is 6 ampere okay so 6 ampere current is starting to flow from this 20 volt uh, source and when it reaches it, this point it gets split to two ways isn't it and as per the current division rule what is that the current division rule states that current in 20 ohm is equal to main current main current 
into opposite branch resistance divided by the same thing opposite branch resistance plus this 20 ohm okay so it is net current is 6 6 into opposite branch resistance is 4 divided by 4 plus 20 so that is 24 by 24 which is 1 ampere so concluding 3.75 ampere current is flowing downwards and 1 ampere current is flowing upwards through this 3 ohm resistor so if i put a positive sign for downside direction and a negative sign for the upside direction okay so this becomes downside if it is positive then i have to, i have to write positive 3.75 and since this one ampere is upright then i have to place it negative one okay so it is 2.75 ampere that is positive 2.75 ampere which says that 2.75 the net current 2.75 is flowing downwards okay so the net current is flowing downwards which is 2.75 ampere so this is all about superposition theorem just consider individual source at a time okay and make the problems and finally you have to add it up while adding it up you have to consider the direction also okay if you like the video please do like share and subscribe the channel till you meet in the next class this is Mino signing off thank you and take care